What's up guys and welcome to the next weekly ramble video today uh, Finally getting back on track. Hopefully we are coming off of a really busy week If you didn't check out the last weekly ramble, it was not last week. I don't believe it was the week before uh, I was in Germany uh, for a conference with work uh, Will's in the middle of a move right now. He and his wife are actually moving into a house uh, this weekend and so we're gonna hopefully help him move a little bit, but uh, obviously, that just means it's been a really busy time for us, which means we haven't been able to keep up with every single video, but we have obviously tried to prioritize, make sure the podcast still goes up, and make sure that the crack of packs still go up. So, at minimum, you're at least getting that. We've also had um, Alex and Parks, uh, which if you don't know, Alex is kind of back in the picture now, uh, streaming for us as well. And so, we've had Alex and Parks actually streaming and kind of filling in some of the content that we, we've been missing and lacking over the last week or two. So, uh, thank you, huge thank you to them, and thank you to you guys for your understanding. Uh, but we are finally coming off of all this busy time. Hopefully, we're going to be able to get back on track. Um, the deck tech videos are the one thing that really just are super time-consuming, unfortunately. Uh, only because, I mean, obviously the videos are short, right? It's like 5-10 minutes. It's a pretty short video. It's just kind of a deck overview. Uh, I wouldn't even necessarily call it a huge deck tech, but... Uh, unfortunately, the, the editing and everything that goes that is involved with making those on top of all of the other videos just happens to be quite a lot. Uh, because I do kind of sit down, write that, script that, find a deck first, obviously, write down, uh, script it, record it, and then do all of the post-editing uh, in Premiere and everything to actually get it looking hopefully somewhat presentable. And so um, it just takes some time, uh, which I unfortunately have not had a lot of. So I've kind of been using some of the streams for our Tuesday video to at least still get some content out for you guys. I believe this past Tuesday, we actually just missed it, unfortunately. Um, and so I do apologize. But again, busy, busy uh, couple weeks. But hopefully we're coming off of that now. Uh, so we're gonna be uh, hopefully getting back on track with everything. Uh, I will say what we need from you guys right now. Um, you guys have been incredibly supportive. We've been at this for over a year, and you guys have been fantastic so far. Uh, we're looking, obviously, to grow, and that's really our goal. And so to do that, we need your help uh, to just share our stuff, like, comment, dislike if you dislike it, and comment. Let us know why. Uh, we're, we're aiming to be a hopefully a useful source of information for you guys. Uh, obviously having some fun with it. Um, obviously the, the crack of packs were trying to add a little bit more value into them by looking at them from a limited standpoint, not just opening a pack, uh, which some people find really interesting and hopefully useful. Hopefully you guys do. Uh, but obviously if, if there's anything, <coughs> excuse me, that we can do to better ourselves and better our content for you guys, then we want to take the opportunity to do that. Um, keeping in mind, obviously, we do both have full-time jobs, and this isn't our main source of income or anything like that. It'd be great if it was, but we're not there yet. We're not even close. So um, we do appreciate the support, though. We just need some help from you guys to get our, our name out there a little bit. So if you're willing, please, please share this video. Share any video you'd like. Share your favorite one. Uh, and then, obviously, like and comment. Show your support. Uh, if you do, in fact, like our videos. If you don't, then let us know why. Um, Another big thing with the channel coming up is our 100th episode, uh, which is a huge mile mark for us, actually. We didn't ever think that we'd get to 100 episodes, so thank you to you guys for helping us get there. But we just released episode 97, so we've only got two more before the big 100. Uh, we're really excited about it, and we have some ideas for things that we want to do for it. But over the next couple weeks, we're going to be looking to you guys to let us know what kinds of things you want to see uh, to help us celebrate. Uh, it can be literally anything. Any suggestion is welcome. Obviously, it has to be within our means. Uh, some people are saying flip it or rip it and stuff like that. And sorry, but we are not going to play flip it or rip it. Uh, and somebody mentioned that we should do it with a beta pack, which is like, heck no. Um, but uh, somebody also mentioned like 100 crack of packs or something. And as much as I would love to do that, uh, unfortunately, that is not financially viable. So uh, we'll, we'll do something. We want to do something to celebrate. Um, but we want to make it something that you guys will enjoy. So we're taking suggestions. Just leave them in the comment section below, uh, and we will we'll do our best to hopefully get something up that celebrates not only the fact that we got to 100, but that you guys have helped us get there. That's really our goal. Uh, and hopefully we'll do some sort of giveaway during that episode. I'm not sure exactly what we'll do, uh, but that's definitely kind of on the radar. We want to do something special for this one. Uh, obviously, episode 100 is kind of a big thing for us. Uh, we're a small magic channel, so... <laughs> Nobody ever expected us to get here and 
maybe some people didn't want us to get here, but we're here. So uh, I'm excited about it, and hopefully you guys are too. Again, huge thank you, uh, obviously, for all the support. Um, I, all of the channel stuff kind of out of the way. Obviously, we're trying to get back on track. That's really our focus. But um, all of that stuff out of the way uh, and trying to get back on the schedule. I do want to talk just briefly about 2019 spoilers. Obviously, spoiler, spoiler season excuse me, has actually kind of kicked off now. Uh, I believe it's less than a month away or about a month away. I'm not exactly sure uh, the release date, but we're getting close to 2019, Corset 2019. Uh, and initially, I actually was not that excited. I'm happy that they're bringing Corset back. Uh, don't get me wrong, but I wasn't that excited about it just because there weren't really any cards that stuck out to me as all that exciting. Um, and from the first few spoilers that we saw, obviously they were commons and uncommons. They weren't anything in incredible. Uh, but they were pretty bad. Like, they were just very base set, uh, which is what I expected. I mean, it is a core set. But I, that sort of hyped me down in the opposite way uh, and just didn't make me all that excited for the set. But uh, we've actually gotten some more spoilers now, and there are actually a few cards. Now, I do say a few, uh, but there are a few cards that I'm actually pretty excited about. Um, and I'm not going to – I again, I want to talk about them, but I want to hold this for the podcast episode because obviously that is something that we want to talk about excuse me, on the podcast itself, uh, some of the best cards in the set, but there are actually a few cards that I'm actually pretty interested in, and hopefully you guys are too. Uh, I do want to know, just out of curiosity, what you guys think about bringing the core set back. Um, some people seemed for it, some people seemed against it. I'm on the for it side. Uh, I think it's great that we're bringing this back, and I'll, I'll explain why briefly. Uh, I think it's important because it is sort of the segue set for new players. Uh, anybody who's looking to get into the game may feel like actually starting in, let's say, Kaladesh or Hour of Devastation or more recent Dominaria. Uh, any of these sets are awesome, but very complicated with some specific mechanics that are dedicated to those sets and things like that. Uh, and so it can be a little bit of a higher level game, uh, whereas a core set is very, very basic. A lot of things are just keywords. There's not too many crazy effects. Uh, and what effects they do have, are ten they tend to be very easy to understand. And so the core sets kind of fill that space where, yes, we can reprint or print a few useful cards in them uh, for standard and just for actual, you know, collectors, whatever. But uh, it doesn't really have to be all that high level. It can just be kind of whatever cards make the most sense to, to intro players. And so that's sort of my camp. I think it's great to have that. The other people... Uh, that are sort of against it kind of think it's a waste of a set from what I've gathered. Uh, I don't want to put words in anybody's mouth, but that seems to be the case. And I understand that feeling, actually. I do. Um, I, I think, obviously, the majority of these cards are not going to be worthwhile uh, in terms of collectability and play outside of standard or anything like that. And really, even in standard, some of these cards aren't going to be that exciting. But um, what I think is nice is that they are kind of throwing a bone with some cards and saying, hey, I get it, you know, this set isn't supposed to be for high-level play. This is really just to get people into the game. And then also throw in a few excess cards that are hopefully going to be useful and fun. Uh, there are definitely a couple cards that I think will be pretty fun. Uh, and I'll, again, I'll talk about them on the podcast, but that's sort of where I'm at. I'm just interested to hear what you guys think, honestly. Um, maybe have an uh, open discussion, maybe even a live stream about this. Uh, just because it is relevant, it's something people seem to be talking about, uh, and so it'd be fun to do that and hopefully get some input directly from you guys, not just in, you know, secondhand comments or anything like that. So, pretty excited though for 2019, uh, the core set. Happy that we're getting this back. So uh, hopefully it, it ends up being a good thing for the game. Uh, that's definitely what I'm hoping for. And then obviously later in the fall we have the return, the return to Ravnica. And I'm excited about that, uh, definitely. I um, also do want to talk about Battle Bond just briefly. Uh, not too much to say here other than, you know, I really like Battle Bond. I think it's sweet. We haven't gotten a chance, again, with everything going on. We just haven't had the opportunity to sit down and really play through Battle Bond with a friend group. Uh, if we did, we would obviously stream it. And so uh, you, guys, you guys know exactly what we're up to at this point as far as magic stuff goes. We just haven't had the time. Uh, but Battle Bond looks really fun. Uh, a lot of really good cards in it. So far, I've only opened two boxes, uh, and in those two boxes, I've gotten some decent stuff. No doubling season yet, but uh, two True Name Nemesis, some other exciting stuff. You can actually watch one of the box opening videos on the channel right now if you are interested. Uh, sponsored by Grand Slam. I do also want to mention that, but 
Um, something that I wanted to point out about Battle Bond was the card quality is very different. Uh, and by very different, I mean in every single way. If you just look at the cards, you can actually tell that there's a, a definitive difference between uh, the last few sets of Magic and, and Battle Bond. Um, I also, I don't know how this is going to affect over time, obviously. Uh, we'll wait and see, but uh, so far so good. It's only been like a week, so it's not, you know, it's not a, a large amount of time by any means, but uh, so far so good on curling and in any of those issues. I haven't had any yet. Uh, I also haven't opened up a pack where the cards have been curled or anything, which in a crack a pack episode actually recently I did for Amonkhet, I believe, and like the cards were curled. It was terrible. Um, the only thing I will say and guys, I know you know what I'm talking about. There's the new card smell isn't there in the same way. There is a new card smell, but it's a different smell. I kind of miss it. Um, not to like backpedal by any means, but <laughs> that's a thing, right? Everybody knows that's a thing. So uh, kind of miss that. But hopefully this is a good thing. Hopefully it's a step forward. Obviously, Wizards has already announced, they announced it a while back, that they were changing up their process. And they were going to try and be a little bit more transparent about this. Um, I haven't kept up with the actual, if they've released any articles or anything like that, um, maybe for next, uh, episode, I will do that, but, uh, it looks like at least they are making efforts to go in the right direction. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully it'll be for the best, but again, until some time has passed, we really won't know. So, uh, I will keep you updated obviously as things go on and, uh, as, as time goes on with these cards and hopefully we won't have any curling issues anymore. That's my goal. I also haven't had any print issues, smudging or anything like that. Again, only two boxes, so the sample size isn't very large. Uh, but I do plan to open more, so we will uh, go through that as I do that. But yes, so that's kind of it for this one. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little weekly ramble. Please, please make sure that you do everything you can. If you're interested in supporting the channel, you can share, you can like, you can comment, you can do all of that stuff just to help support us and get our name out there a little bit. We would hugely, hugely appreciate it, genuinely. Uh, the support has already been fantastic, so let's continue it. Um, another thing I want to mention, too, obviously, um, we have our Patreon up there. I'm not going to like force Patreon on anybody by any means, but uh, if you feel the notion and you would like to, do to donate excuse me, uh, directly, you can do it through Patreon. We also have just a one-time donation link down in the description. It's entirely up to you. I am not by any means going to sit here and beg for donations because that, that's up to you guys. Uh, we're going to do this no matter what. It just helps us out a little bit. Um, but if you would like to, the, the links are down there. You're welcome to use them. And of course, we would greatly appreciate it. So with that, I'm going to get out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this weekly ramble. We are back finally and hopefully getting back on schedule. Uh, but with that, I'm out of here. So thanks for watching, guys. So we'll see you in the next one.